it is Matt Van Fossen, isn't it? Right here on the RTM Radio Network. Look, that brat Summers is in the chat room. There he is. And Look at him go. Hello, Mr. Dave, old kind Chico sir. Is in the chat room tonight. What's going on over there then? Look at all the people here, cruising Christine, cruising Dave, all the cruisers. You guys will be on your way here directly. Won't be long. Hello, John. Good evening. And, and then uh, we will get out the design for the 2018 cruise. We're going to get the design out. As they're not going on one. They're not. No, Dave said they're done and they're just going to work at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with my Mouse echoing? I'm echoing. That's better. That's, just, better. Her, that's just her ears. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so full up from food. I, just I know, right? Man, now. it makes me want to nap. <laughs> Don't even think about getting late tonight, husband, because I just want to... <sighs> See, I told you, next Friday, off to Hawaii. You're fine, Randy, but the Brit is. Am I still echoing? No, when one does, they both do. It's just uh, it's the way the system's set up. Yours might be a little more predominant than this one. I don't know. Look at how dirty this shit is. Oh, where's I know. That, I am such a pig. Where's that friggin' Mexican maiden or short skirt and her spiked heels at? Come in here and clean this place up. Good God Almighty. So how the hell is everybody on Saturday night? What are you doing? My poor mighty is that chilly. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad she's on that side of the radio. Hooping tonight. At least she's on that side of the radio. It shouldn't be too bad of a problem for us anyways. Feel sorry for the dogs and the cats or whatever kind of pet she's got in there. Oh, that looks better already. Sorry, I can't stand dirty stuff. And it's just I'm constantly cleaning. Better go and scrub that nub cheese there. I did already, and you know it. You were there. You were using your teeth to scrub it off. <laughs> That doesn't affect me that way. Oh, everybody has the farts now and then. Don't give me that crap. Oh, my gosh. I can't even go an hour without farting the guts out. I love the fart. feels I cool. I do, too. I love farting. And then there's that, you know, wait in two days and then have a good shit. And just that first push. Oof. Boy, is that awesome. What a relief. Oh, plop, plop, drop, drop. Oh, oh what, what a relief, relief it is. is. <laughs> That's right. Got to love it. So anyways, Saturday night, country time. All you guys are here. Cool L. Let's just keep on moving on over here. Brian Randall and that neon smoky haze. <laughs> yes, I'm gotta love hey, that stuff. Thank you, the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Let's say hello to hello. Robert hello. White Falcon hello. and his most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Patty, she's in the chat room as well. Dark Angel. Mm. Hey. Hello, then. And Mr. Dale O'Donna himself is in the chat room. Really? Again, he, two nights in a row. Dale Dale You were going to say something? He has to be our oldest listener. And I don't mean oldest by age, but I mean he's been listening to us right from the very That would be the start. longest. The longest Yeah, the listener. longest listener. And I don't mean longest by the size of your ding-dong. That's why I said oldest. I knew he'd get the wrong You know, no matter idea. what you say, it's going to be wrong. Yeah. So <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> You're our oldest. Oldest haggis listener. Mr. Is it really Dale 28 O'Donnell. here? Is it that cold? Yeah, 28 degrees. Fuck that. And hang on, just let me make sure I'm clicked on the right thing here. Am I clicked? On, am I supposed to be clicked on that or that? On the Fahrenheit. Oh, it's minus. Oh. Minus two is Celsius. Oh, so it's yeah. 28. 28. Okay. Right. So, so it's minus two Celsius and it is 28 degrees Fahrenheit. That sucks. I was born and raised in this shit, man. It's just too fucking cold for me. But I think age has got something to do with that. I've had enough of it. Just can't do it anymore like I used to. I have no use for that crap being that uh, being that cold. I don't even want to go out of the house. Now oh, we didn't sleep didn't, good last didn't, night. You didn't mind going out of the house today just to scoff your face. Oh my gosh, I wondered when he was going to... Oh, those was ribs like, were so fingers. awesome. Those ribs were so awesome. No, I love those ribs in that place. Cheddars. Yeah. Again, good stuff. We don't go out often for dinner like that, but when we do... Ho, 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 ho. Every few weeks or so. Boy, is that shit good. That's every few months, isn't it? We don't well, a few weeks. Often. You know, four weeks is a month, so 
Oh, hey, look, mom said she got five inches last night. Well, What are you, you dating Japanese guys now or what? <laughs> I have to have sex three times to get like three inches from her, five inches from Randy, you know. Don't I? You're a very funny girl. <laughs> Me not find no funny. You know, one in a bit, one in a bit, one in a bit. Any of you guys like to barbecue? Do you like to grill? Man, I'll tell you what. I saw this dude on uh, PBS today, Barbecue You. This guy was barbecuing clams, and he made this. I swear he called it Tucson sausage or something like that. But you take sausage, ground-up sausage, and you make this gigantic big patty out of it, and then you flatten it out, and you add all this stuff to it, and then you uh, oh screw that. You put cheese inside of it and everything, and then you roll it up and you put it in the fridge and let it chill, and then you take uh, you take bacon and weave it stiff. into a flat area big enough to uh, wrap around the outside of this thing. You chill that. Then you take them out of the trigitator and you roll the sausage roll inside of this bacon and then you put this thing on the grill and grill it for three or four hours, two or three hours, something like that. Oh, but they, they also oh, put, they also put a, a sausage in the middle. Uh, what kind of it? Was it some kind of spicy sausage in the middle that they wrapped all the meat around? Was that it? I couldn't remember yeah, exactly, but was, I know it looked awesome. And there was also some kind of cheese. Now, I don't know what cheese it is, but it was some cheese that... Um, Mrs. Dave sent some, something similar to that. It had little red and green bits in, and he laid that out as well. Um, and then he wrapped it all up into a ball, and like Randy said, refrigerated it for just a couple of hours. Yeah, he chilled and it then, again, too, to let it hold together until it starts to yeah, cook. Yeah, and then he wrapped the bacon around it, and then he put it in the fridge for it's another It's basically hour. like an all-day thing, but and if you like start a, in the morning, it man. It was like a heart attack waiting to happen. Mm. Welcome to America, Donna. Boy, does that shit look good. And then he was, uh, what did he do? He did barbecued uh, onions, clams, yeah. half-shell clams. Um, oh, my God, the guy was cooking everything on the barbecue, on the grill, and it was just, the shit was beyond fucking cool. Some great stuff. An actual photo of me. Look at that. She looks like a ginger. She is a ginger. Look at that. She is a ginger. A bloody ginger she is then. Right. All right, then. Maybe we should tell her what a ginger is. Um, a ginger person? A who? A ginger person. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's your interpretation of a ginger? A redhead. Oh, all right. You bloody wanker. <laughs> <laughs> My little brother used to say to me uh, when he was little, he used to say, oh, I'm special, aren't you, Donna? I was like, no, you ginger. Granddad <laughs> says I'm special. Yeah, you're special, all right. <laughs> You're talking about John? No, Ryan. Oh. Like, yeah, Ginger. It's not very nice. Well. Wanker. <laughs> wanker. 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 All right. So, anyways, what else we got going on over here? Screw that snow. Barbecue, yes. I know, man. The dude was, I'm telling you, this guy was cooking some serious shit. I posted a link on my page there to his barbecue stuff on YouTube. And, man, this dude... And, you know, the good thing is that always, and whenever you grill or barbecue, it cooks slow. So the slower it cooks, the better it is. I can imagine the flavor in this stuff. Mmm. And he grilled a turkey. Oh, my God. The skin was absolutely beautiful on that thing. Crisp. He basted it with butter once real heavy in the beginning and heavy again the second time. He got all done with it, and he took it out of the oven, and he's getting ready to try a piece of it. And he looks at the camera, and he says, I'm a skin man. He cut off a big piece of that skin, and... Boy, that shit was friggin' awesome. Couldn't beat it. What are you looking for? I don't know. Oh. I was just looking what music you were putting on. Ah, uh, whatever. I got uh, this one right here next. In fact, we ought to just hit it, I think. What do you think? Yeah, because I'm going to fall asleep soon. <laughs> I think we ate too much today. All right, then. Your choice for country music. Say goodbye, Derek Andrew, brand new with us, going to be joining us uh, next Saturday, the 14th, our first guest of the year, going to be pretty cool. There's DeBra. hello there, and Ben's here again, good evening, Mr. Ben. Yeah, no stalking me though, DeBra. if I give you the address. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and now we're a cruise girl. And don't be sending your daughter in that package as well, Look at that. I don't do teenagers. Looky right there then, really, but what old Cranky what? Pants has with her. Hello. There's my semi bear. What a beautiful dog. You're Aww, cool. There's my girl. Yeah, nice I know picture. I wasn't on about you, Sandy. Oh, far, far. Nice <laughs> picture, too. And Mrs. Dave. Hello, Mrs. Dave. Yeah, you so wonderful lady, you. Yeah, the of cruising is in the chat room. I know, right? 
Hey. Well, nice to see you guys hanging out with us and everybody else that may be tuned in. Thanks for uh, coming by and just uh, chilling. Good country music. You got a request? See, you know how to get a hold of us? Be quiet. What? If Debra won the lottery, she would look after me with peanut M&Ms. She would? She would. All right, then. Oh, and don't forget to tell Rebecca we said hi, because yeah. I remember last night you made a post that she said to say hello, and I forgot to say anything back. So, well, not like I forgot. Well, shall we sing to Rebecca? Nothing. Do her a favor. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. You always got to do the old classics. Happy. Okay, what well, shall we sing to Rebecca, Rebecca. Oh, my Rebecca, Rebecca. Oh, my Rebecca. She's probably not even there. I know. Are you there, Rebecca? Making a fool out of myself. Why do I do such things? <laughs> All right, then. Let's move right along here. Then. How about some Charlie Pride? You haven't heard that in a while, right? Good old Charlie Pride. Kiss an angel, good morning. Getting a Brit country Saturday night. Uh... Who was that that wanted to hear that? Was that Ben? Ben, is that supposed to be country? Because it doesn't sound very country to me. That sail, AWOL Nation. Um, I don't think that's country. It's a little, Mr. Uh... Tedworth Williams is in the chat. And guys, Hello, Ted. he is going to be on the show tomorrow night. Yes, that's at right. At 8 p.m. Central Standard Time with... United Truckers yes, of America yes, Live. Yes, that's what they are called. They are called UTA Live. You guys, guys are going to be here, right? Sail, please. Sail, please. Sail what? Sail AWOL Nation? Is that what you're talking about? That's not a country song, I don't think. And I don't like to veer off of track here. You know, last night was rock. This is country. If you can tell me that's a country song, I don't think it is. It doesn't sound like it, but, you know. Yep, nope. Now, what the hell does that mean? (laughs) (laughs) Is that yes or no? (laughs) That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yep, nope. Yep, that's the song. Nope, it's not country. Okay, well, we like to stick to our country. Yes, he said. Yes, what? <laughs> God damn it, stop that shit, please. Yes, please. Oh, jeez, all right. <laughs> we'll play you just, just for you, Ben. Here it is, by request for Ben. Sail, AWOL Nation. Sail, by request from Ben. The chat room, Yankee to Brit, the RTM Radio Network. What's going on? What is going on over here then? I do believe we are prank calling a teenager. There we go. You know how moody teenagers can be. What? Huh? Oh, all right, what then. is that buzzing noise? It's this thing up here is all fucked up. Shit's getting old like me. You'll have that though. Hello. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. <laughs> yeah, we told you teenagers are moving. Yeah, we don't Five, do voice two, recordings. One, zero, seven, right. six, nine, eight is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you, you may, may hang, hang up. up or press one for more options. Whatever. Nothing in the world should be more important than answering the phone to the Yankee and the Brit. How do we sing that song again? Happy New Year to you. It's more like, what's the matter for you? Happy New Year to you. How come you no answer the telephone? Happy New Year to Rebecca and Deborah that holds the tits. Happy New Year. Oh, boy. It's a country Saturday night with the RTM Radio Nitwits. Big freight train carry me home. Big freight train carry me home. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Stop that song! Shut song. up and talk! Stop that song! What did I just get into? What happened? Who is this? Whoops. Who is this? Yeah, that's a question. Hey, why are you not answering your phone to the Yankee and the Brit? What? Why 
Why are you not answering the phone to the Yankee and the Brit? Right now, we are the most important thing in your world, apart from your purple hair. Well, you called and didn't leave a message. We did leave a message. Oh, wait till you put the phone down. You'll find a message on your phone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So what are you doing tonight? Have you had pizza? Yes. <laughs> Well, what, what have you had on your pizza? Cheese and pizza. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese and pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Did you go to the moon to get it? What? <laughs> did, did you visit the moon to get your cheese for your pizza? Oh, no, I have yours. <laughs> Not surprised about that. <laughs> So what are you doing with your evening apart from talking to these crazy people on the telephone? Taking a mom. Um, oh, good. I like you. I'm just trying to ride a crazy, you know? It's a, it's a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard, though. She's already halfway it's there. Hard. It's very hard. <laughs> She's already halfway crazy. It shouldn't be that hard. Very <laughs> true. true. Oh, I like to have companions, so uh, that's who. What did you say? The companion. Uh, yeah. Tell me, tell me again. The companions, my pet monkey. <laughs> <laughs> not even going there. <laughs> that's not a nice thing to say about your mother. Are you calling your mother a monkey? What? I can't have an extra pet monkey. Shh. She doesn't know about it. It was in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's invisible. <laughs> It lives in my purse. I feed it chocolate every night before I go to bed. If it falls for anything, I blame it on the dogs. <laughs> I hope you don't feed that thing after midnight. Nope. And you don't feed it and you don't get it wet. Oh no, that'll let her on to it, so. It'll fool <laughs> mom already, so I can't. Gotta keep it secret. Nothing worse than a wet monkey. <laughs> uh, what what song can we play for you tonight, Rebecca? Do we, shall we play some Brad James for you? Yes. Yes. All right then. We will choose a Brad James song just for you. Okay. All right then. You're boring me now. I'm a bit I'm boring. <laughs> you're boring me now. I'm going to put the phone down on you. Uh, I thought my pet monkey was very entertaining. That's what he said. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> yeah, your monkey's kind of cool. <laughs> Hi. Well, do, do you feed your monkey Mars bars? I feed him bananas and Tic Tacs and dogs. <laughs> your monkey likes Tic Tacs? No, she said she feeds it dogs. <laughs> I thought maybe the monkey had bad breath. <laughs> After eating all those dogs, yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess we better put some Brad James on before you corrupt us. Okay, what about Porch Monkey? Hey, I bet Sandy Fisher asked for that one, didn't she? Nope. I'm going to the songs list. <laughs> or that uh, mother of yours, I bet she asked for it. No. <laughs> Porch monkey it is. <laughs> All right. You have a good night. You too. Bye, love. Yankee and Britain, the RTM Radio Network. Well, Donna loaded that up, so that was actually my version of oh. I'm Rolling by Bill Weaver, done with his permission. <laughs> I know it, but that's all right. We're going to play another Bill Weaver tune to make up for it. <laughs> Didn't mean to uh, ruin his song, but uh, anyways, what the fuck is wrong with this shit all of a sudden? God <laughs> damn it, bloody So for you guys that uh, didn't know who that was, we called Deborah that holds the tits as young lady. I'll tell you what, teenagers, eh? <laughs> the cheek of them. <laughs> Pretty cool. Had me giggling. She said, right. she said she's going to save our voicemail to play to her friends at school on Monday. They're going to be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you really put up with those people calling you? 
I can hear it now. <laughs> We're old shits. Nobody wants to hear us. But that's all right. Get a kick out of it. The real Bill Weaver. And the Diesel Life. Right here on the RTM Radio Network on a country Saturday night. 7.53, baby. Here we go. Running up and down these highways is the way of life. Eric Church and the Outsiders, the Yankee and the Brit. Hey, Lisa Wooten. Got to keep the fire going over here. Hey, Lisa Wooten is in the chat room. How you doing? Hello, Welcome. Lisa. Apparently, hello, hello, Lisa hello. is Ted's better half. Hey. Uh-oh. Welcome. Look out. Look out there, then. All right. Uh, where was I? Where's your list over here? What you got here, then? Uh, Randy was just putting the fire in, and I said, quick, quick, quick. The song's running out. <laughs> <laughs> I can only do so much. I'm all way behind here tonight. Just, uh, you'll have to bear with me. What the hell was that called? What? It was Luke Bryan. Crash My Party. Crash My Party, yeah. Crash My Party. The song coming up is for Debra in the chat room. Debra the host the tits. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Let's see if I can screw this anyway, up. Anyway, like Ben, else tonight. Ben, make sure of all your requests... What a cool tune, Johnny Cash, The Hurt. The Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. That was one of the last few songs he did before he died. I didn't even know he was dead. It's what it's about, him getting old. It's a very cool, uh, very cool album, actually. got a lot of great tunes on it. All right, then, by request over here, Mama's Song. I Carrie think we're Underwood. just going through the motions over here. We're that tired from our dinner. We're not even very entertaining tonight. I know it. Pretty sad. <laughs> bummed out about Make being... Make some noise now! Arf, arf, arf! How's that? I'm just jamming the request. That's what we're here to do. You guys keep calling them. Make sure they're country music. Yankee to Brittany, RTM Radio Network, 827. You know, I'm going to argue with you guys about this tune, the lax kicking up mud. That's friggin' one of them stupid country rap things. Listen to that. Does that sound country to you? I'm just a country boy with a big old truck. The only way I ride, I keep a jack up. don't sound like country to me. <laughs> Not the kind of country I know. I don't know what you guys grew up with. Of course, there's 20, probably 15, 20 years age difference with you guys. I can't believe you'd be almost 60 years old and jamming on that, but uh, that ain't country. That's uh, that We've lost listeners because of playing that kind of stuff, so we're not playing it anymore. Yeah, and, it's because uh, we, we, we promise people a country night, and then we want, you know, we want to give them a country night. and then... Yeah, and then we end up playing all that rap crap stuff, and people, a lot of people don't like it, and uh, I'm not trying to... I can't cater to everybody. So we just keep it at a minimum of good old-fashioned country music, country western, old country, new country. But that stuff, sorry, dudes, it just ain't getting it. And uh, like I've told everybody before, and uh, I don't say it to be rude, but if you don't like it, there's plenty of other places to go. We did do sale, yes, we did, Ben, but we didn't know what it was when we... Uh, we don't always have time to listen to them, so we try well, to listen to them Well, I've been listening to them, man. It's nothing against you, Ben, personally, believe me, but it's the type of music, that's all. I mean... You know, you're free to like whatever you like. I like what I like. I don't want anybody telling me what I like. But, you know, since I run the show and uh, Donna and I have had this discussion many times over the last five or six years about what we played, we got to stick, you know, like rock night is rock night. And some people come in and they want country and they want, you know, rap and all this other shit. That ain't rock and roll. So, you know, I just decided it's rock on Friday. It's country on Saturday. And if it don't fit the bill, I just don't play it. And, you know, and I don't want to sit here and say, no, we're not playing that. I just don't play it, you know. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to be rude in any way, but we got to have some rules. I mean, we can't just, uh, you know, just because we're free to do whatever we want, we, you know, try to keep our heads screwed on a little bit straight. I mean, we have a lot of outside listeners. Just because they're not in the chat doesn't mean they're not listening. And uh, just don't want to get into, uh, you know, that kind of stuff and lose people over just not the majority doesn't like it. I'm sorry. You know, that's the best I can tell you. So, uh, no, I'm not going to play it. I don't find that to be country music in any way whatsoever. However, you know, not that fits our format. However, anyways. Ben has requested 
uh, oh, where is it? Dig Two Graves by Randy Travis. We could do that. And we've got a song coming up as well, Tornado, Little Big Town. We're going to play that right now. Yankee to Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Network. Tornado in Little Big Town. That's a pretty cool jam right there. Hey, look who is in the chat room. It's the Queen R- of Makeup. Yes, RTM Radio is very own Queen of Makeup. And Rachel. Hello, she Rachel. Right here. How hey. are you, love? Did and you do a makeup video today? Chris Sachada is here as well. Hello, Chris. What's he putting a, on a sad face for? Oh, I don't know. Is he sad? I don't know. I don't even see his face. He's I don't even dead. see his name. Look, he's dead. Oh, Moosk? Moosk. He likes his Moosk. Hello, Moosk. <laughs> Moosk. All right, and uh, like Rachel said, hello, White and Dark and Ben and blah, blah, blah. And does Reba do Independence Day? I thought Martina McBride did it. I guess that's what was uh, confusing me. Um, maybe. I don't know. Reba might have done a version of it. I really don't know. No, Martina McBride. Bur- me- 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 me. Jesus Christ, get my foot out of my mouth. Yeah, Martina McBride does it. That's what I thought. Just want to get the right person with the right song so everybody's as happy as we can make them over here. Um, I know I have that somewhere. There it is right there. We'll just throw oh, that on right look, now. here's trouble right there in the chat room. Who is it? Mr. Bubba Spell. Hey, Bubba, what's hey, going on? how you doing? What's that little picture? What's a little picture? This here that Bubba sent. Well, I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know. I got two marks over here. It doesn't even show <laughs> up on mine. How do you rate? Right there, know. look. It's like a set of danglies there or something. I guess. Is he teabagging it? <laughs> There's Sandy. Hello, Sandy. And of course, Lisa Wooten. Hi, Lisa. What's going on over there? You guys jamming along all right? Enjoying the tunage? Hope so. Trying to keep it country. Yanking the Britney RTM hey, Radio Network. Hey, Sandy, she's back. That's my girl right there. That's right. Old cranky pants. Yes, cranky. <laughs> now, this is a great tune. Martina McBride. Yankee and the Britney RTM Radio Network. There's a new sheriff in town. Gary. Gary. Hello, Gary. There's <laughs> hey. a new sheriff here. Watch out, he's fixing to kick y'all's ass. Ah, yes, Rachel. That is one of the cutest pictures I saw. She was talking about the picture we posted uh, of the cows being indoors in, in front of the fire. The cows oh. are doing what? The cows that are in front of the fire. Mm. These are cute. What Maybe. cows in front of what fire? This one I posted last night. Are you freaking lost your mind? Absolutely, yes. I'm thinking you might have. Well, I'm going to keep buzzing along here. We've got some requests to take care of, so let's do this right here. Randy Travis and Dig Two Graves. Yankee and the Brit. Randy Travis, guy don't live too far from us actually, you're in Texas. Hey guys and gals, don't forget next Friday night on our rock show, I want you guys to send me a message with the name of your earliest musical memory. You know, something that you used to jam along to when you were young, good looking and wearing short trousers, okay? Send me that message to my Facebook inbox and next Friday night, along with our rock stuff, we will play those tunes. They will be your song requests for next Friday. So inbox me those songs because I find it really, really cool and really interesting to find out what everybody jammed along to, you know. We have people from different nationalities listening to this show and uh, of different ages <coughs> and different uh, parts of America and different parts of England and stuff. So you shut up, you! So I'd like to know what you guys used to listen to when you were young. So inbox me your song request and they will be played next Friday. These, hey, I got the fucking things these, out for me. Get your own, Oh, God giant. What are these again? They're going to they're gonna be ass plugs in a minute. <laughs> Why? Where are you putting them? What are you up your ass. Up they're your Cheetos. Ass. 
<laughs> Gigantic Cheetos. They plug your teeth up and fill your cavities and your voids and your nooks and crannies. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> make sure, guys, that you do inbox me these songs. I'll, I'll never find them in this chat if I go look for them tomorrow. Yeah, we are eating Cheetos. These are like giganto, you know. These are like... They're dildo size. <laughs> <laughs> if you're comparing them, these to your size of your knob, no, they're not dildos, dildo size. That darling. would be a cheesy knob. <laughs> Oh, okay. Mm. So that includes... Yeah, sorry to hear about that, Rachel, by the way. So that includes you, Debra. Tell me what you used to listen to when you were a little girl. What was your earliest music memories? And um, we will play them on next week's show, on Friday's show. So inbox me those songs. Of course they're uh, Chester Cheetos. There are no other kind. And yes, like I was saying to Rachel, you know, I dread the day my mom and dad pass away. That's going to freaking kill me. But uh, And she had a member of her family pass, so sorry to hear that. I know that's terrible. <laughs> Got a laugh out of Angel over there. Dildo size. They are. Look at these things. My dildo. Look at this. Can you see? Look at that. Can these, you see These that? are huge. The magic my, of radio. These are huge, but my dildo is about ten times the size of this bad boy. You fucking stop bragging. <laughs> <laughs> You have to inbox me those songs, though, people, because um, I will never find them. Um, pictures or it isn't true. I will never find them tomorrow. The pictures in your mind. Something Scottish, if you can. Have we got something Scottish country? You know what, Gary? You'll have to tell us, man, because the Scottish tunes I know probably are nothing like you know, because you're a, you're a Scottish. Do you wear skirts? You're a Scot lad. Do you wear those skirts, Gary? Do you wear a kilt? We want to see a picture of Gary in a kilt, Yes, he we? does. Didn't he, didn't he have one on at the wedding? Wasn't that him? Oh, I don't know. What? We want to see a picture of Gary in a I kilt. I swear we saw some pictures of him at somebody's wedding, and they were all in kilts. Was that was that Gary's pictures? Oh, I don't know. I missed that. It and seems really, like it was and Gary. And you really wear no underpants under your kilt, Mr. Gary? Well, why do you think those chairs have the ball cups carved into them? <laughs> if he wore undies, he wouldn't need them. But now they what, sit down. What happens when you're cradles at a wedding? Their cradles are a sack right there. <laughs> what? Yeah, does it, does the wind make your shopping move around in your shopping basket? No, but you've it got makes no me, underwear on. No, but it makes me arsehole whistle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they carve those. You've seen those chairs where they carve out the bollocks holders yeah. in, the, in the seat. That's what that's for, the Irish. They sit there with their kilt on. they got a place to rest them. You can put warm water in there and keep them warm, too. <laughs> Filling those little cups, you know. A kilt? You don't know what a kilt is, Ben? A kilt is uh, made out of tartan. Um, and it's like a, it's it's pleated, and it's um it's like a skirt, and they uh, attach it with the, the, the there's like a button at the top, and then they pin it at the bottom, and um, it's got some tassels on it, depending yeah. on who you are and whatever, blah blah blah. I guess I don't know. I don't understand that let much me, about it. Let me find you a picture of a. Kilt. Gary said I'll send you one in a second to the inbox. Now is he talking a picture or is he talking a song request? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. Here's a kilt. It's where men wear skirts, but apparently they don't wear underpants underneath. So that's why I was asking if they really do wear no underpants. Well, you know, that's why they're in the tartan material like that, and they've got checks on them, because the dark checks always end up in the back where you can't see the stains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben says he has a kilt. All right, then. Well done, lad. Oh, he's got one. Oh. Well done. You said it as a question, with a question mark, like a kilt. But of course the Scots wear kilts. <coughs> That's not just made up stuff. That's for real, don't you know? But Gary's not answered the question whether they wear, whether they wear the underpants under their kilts. He's probably laughing about the bollocks holders. And if that's what the holders. picture is, Gary, I don't want to see it. He's probably laughing <laughs> about the bollocks holders and the carved into the bar stools. Every one of them's got them over there. <laughs> <laughs> Bar stools with nut holders. You can't beat it. Got to love it. All right. Uh, Deborah, stop laughing. You're going to hurt yourself. All right. Where were we? Uh, musica. I wonder whether there's uh, Scottish people out there that wear the bra for the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the jock de strappy, I guess. I don't know. You Let's got play that this one, song. Mom, you? Shut up. You suck. Big Life is a highway. Rascal flats with the Yankee and the twit over here. The Cooley Station Online. Yeah, that's us. The Yankee and the Brit Show on RTM Radio. (laughs) 
Yankee in the breath. Yes, sir. Wagon wheel and Darius Rucker right here on the RTM Radio hey, Network. Chrissy is in the chat. The she is. Hello, Chrissy. Hey. Nice to see you, girl. Guy. Looks like things are getting back to normal for you. That's a beautiful thing. Look at that. She had to listen to her friends tonight. Got to love a woman like that. Anybody that considers me a friend has got to be a good person. <laughs> Well, then, where's Christine? I don't know. She disappeared, Michelle. She was here. And hello to you, by the way. And uh, Oh, and you're more than welcome, Gary. Anything for way up there in the north of Scotland makes a lad feel proud, you know, to think that we're being heard all over the bloody world like that. Can't go wrong, eh? You all right? Yeah. Oh, just, neck. oh your neck. You want me to need something to cure that throat? <laughs> no, you can't say that to me. You last said time, yes. <laughs> last, time, last time you had a bad throat, you was taking no offers of any of these gentlemen in the chat to help soothe your. If anybody's sticking throat. anything in my throat, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even sure how that would work. I know. <laughs> I'd say on that note, it's time to move on over here. We've got a request from Brad James. Hi, this is Brad James, and you're listening to the Yankee and the Brit. On the RTM Radio Network. Work. As a matter of fact, we are. My granny plays the ranger, she nearly scored a goal. They done the splits and bust her tits and the ball went up her hole. Hole. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> now I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chrissy, I saw your picture that you sent me yesterday. Oh my gosh, my mic's not on. Chrissy, sorry, uh, I saw your picture that you sent me yesterday morning and um, I was like, ah! 57 degrees, she's sunning herself in Ohio compared to us. And then uh, Randy showed me the picture again a bit later and it said 5.7 degrees. I was like, oh my gosh. I know, that was cold where it was here. But a woman's freezing her nip-nips off over there. Pretty damn cold here too. What is it with everybody getting sick? What's up with this there, Angel? Come on. I had this cold the last three days and Falcon and I have a five-month-old son that I'm trying not to get sick. Boy... Good luck time with that. you sorted it out, girl. Get yourself well again. I know. Send him out on the road. <laughs> out there with all those sick truck drivers. Everybody seems to be ill. I know, right? Man, well, I've seen a couple people in here. You know, Sandy's having pains. I got a pain in the ass, but she'll be going here pretty soon. I will and, uh, not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have arthritis, but I know I got carpal tunnel in my oh, right arm, man. That son of a bitch too. really fucking hurts sometimes. <laughs> I'm just being part of the crowd, <laughs> that's all. It's nine right now. Nine degrees or nine o'clock? Oh, no, it's 1030 there. Nine degrees. Oh, no. Jesus Christ, Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. See why I left, Chrissy? You'd love it in the south, man, where it's warm. Current temperature of Bells, Texas, 23 degrees. Yeah, well, thank God the wind's not blowing because the floor's nowhere near as cold as it usually is. We went down to about, I think it was 13 degrees last night. And we were like, Ugh. Ben says, I'm not sick. Well, give it time. You might be sick in the head, though, love. <laughs> so you could be like us and not go anywhere. Stay home. Then you never get sick because you don't get around anybody. Well, you know, I was only saying to Randy, you know, the joys of living in the country. You know, you don't have to see neighbors. You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't see our local neighbors are cows. Um, Screw the neighbors. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really see many people, do you? No, and did you notice that uh, Jim doesn't talk to us much or wave or say hi or anything? No. You know, the the man across the man across the road says he knows where we're going. If he sees us going one direction, he knows we're going to the laundrette. And if we're going another direction, then, uh, then we're going to the shops. So it was kind of creepy. Yeah, we don't see. We like, don't I don't see like anybody watching now. me and knowing where I'm going and what I'm doing. I'm a big grown-up boy. But still, it was no offense to him, but I wonder if he didn't take offense to that because I haven't seen him nothing. That's weird. And the Eggman hasn't been by, which is good because I still got about four or five dozen <laughs> left yet. Yeah. <laughs> I like the egg guy. He's pretty cool, but he was bringing eggs over here. It's like, here, have some more because I like brown eggs. They, they have, they're a little more richer, I think, than white eggs. But he was bringing eggs after eggs after eggs. I found out he did bring some. Dad took a couple dozen over there. Then he brought them over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy, he brings us he brings us eggs, and he brings us so many eggs. You know, we haven't got through the last bunch, and he's bringing more eggs and more eggs. And, more and he's not just bringing dozens. He's bringing the 18 count in some of them. It's like, <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> the fridge is just I snack. love eggs and bacon and all that, but I can only eat so much of that. Yeah, and I don't really eat eggs anymore, not since I've been in America. So, um, yeah, it's a bit crazy. We've been... Uh, 
We've had uh, boiled eggs, fried eggs, egg eggs, um, <laughs> you name Eggs it. on top of eggs. And spam and eggs. Eggs Benedict. Spam and eggs and spam. <laughs> spam, spam, egg and spam. Spam, spam, egg, spam, spam and spam. And eggs and Yeah, you've spam. just heard uh, Larry the Clock go off, Sandy. He's actually going off 25 minutes early. Oh, no, he's... Yeah, he's actually he's actually twenty five minutes late, uh, thirty five minutes late. I wonder where Larry went, by the way. He must have yeah. left. Yeah, I bet he's over there talking to one of his girlfriends. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. He's got so many of them. I know. I don't know what to do with that guy sometimes. Debra, you need to be wearing more than that Debra to keep your tits warm. <laughs> She's saying, "Damn, it's cold outside." You need the tit warmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're just about uh, we're toward the end of the shift here, so uh, let's hit on a couple more of these requests and get these puppies out of the way. Red Sovine and, and uh, what? Go and on, no man. more requests now. We've uh, we've got your Copperhead Road and we've got your Red Sovine. No more requests now. We're chilling out for the rest of the show. Yeah, the rest of the whole ten minutes that are left. Yeah, <laughs> there'll be about ten minutes left. All right, Red Spam, Sovine. Spam and cauliflower. The trucker's Prayer. It's the man of the hour, Uncle Larry. Larry! Oh, nice, man. Nice to see you there, buddy. Obviously, you're feeling all right up to par. Things are going good. No problem. You're here better late than never. That's exactly, exactly. right. Exactly. As long as Larry's having a good night, we don't care what he does. Well, we love it when he comes and joins us. I had already board, taken it. As long as he's having a good time. I had already taken it upon myself, Larry, to say that you were with a bunch of girls somewhere and you just didn't have time no, for us. Larry so. has been bagging that pussy tonight, I tell you. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Even your clock's been going off early tonight, Larry. <laughs> I think the only thing going off early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Larry's been going off on the wall early, <laughs> premature again. <laughs> oh, you are so crotchety and crusty around the edges. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, don't forget, That's man. That's the symphony in me. Saturday the 14th, is that next Saturday? Yes, it is. It is, as a matter of fact. Next Saturday, Derek Andrews is going to be with us, our first guest of the year. Here's one of his tunes, uh, one of his best top the tunes, poor, I guess, from what I've read. poor, poor man <laughs> is He has no idea what he's in for. No. Anyways, uh. here's one of his tunes all this time. Yes, sir. How's that for some good tunage right there? We're going to have him on the show next week. That'll be yeah, some pretty cool he stuff. Is awesome. Can't wait. That's what I'm thinking. Well, one more for the road here, shall we? How about, uh, let's see, what's it going to be? Put, you should put that song on for Larry. You know, the one where they. The old man and his horn? Let's do that. That's a good tune. <laughs> I think the guy plays it better than you do. I am cool. Yeah? Yes. Well, play the skin flute, then. <laughs> the skin flute? I just realized what you meant there. You. The cheek of the man. Not bad for an old twat. <laughs> Oh, you guys are the best, by the way. Hey, you know, you can always uh, send us a message if there's songs you want to hear on Saturday, yeah, Friday, Sunday, you know. Next um, week. A lot of you folks that don't come in the chat room, you know, don't be afraid to ask for requests or anything you want to hear. I mean, we're more than glad to play it. You don't have to leave your name if you don't want to, but uh, you know how to get a hold of us. We have email, we have Facebook, we have the sign page, all kinds of things. Don't forget, we make T-shirts and do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, like that. that is Yankee and the Brit shirts out there that you could, you know, you could be wearing us on your tits, Dark Angel. We can and design Lisa, you, you some shirts, uh, whatever you need. You know, signs, truck lettering. Uh, you can put it on yourself, save yourself lots uh -huh. of money. Some of those guys are getting a lot of money for that stuff. We do it pretty cheap. We do it because we enjoy it. Anyways, yes, let's throw this forget, tune out there. Don't forget, and even you, Larry. Don't forget, inbox me your song uh, for next Friday's show. The song is, um, what song did you grow up listening to? You know, Well, should I say your earliest music memory? You know, what did you listen to when you were young, Larry, and good looking and wearing really, really short trousers? So inbox me that song on Facebook, okay? <laughs> we're all from all different cultures and backgrounds. So I think it's going to be really, really cool. It's going to be quite a mixture. So, uh, inbox with me, all right? We're live in We're live. three, two, one. Hit it! The 
old man told his story About the years gone by How he played his home down in New Orleans And some old dingy died I knew them all back then, he said As he reached out for his home He closed his eyes and wet his lips And then the blues were born He played with so much feeling Tears came from his eyes He stopped and reminisced a bit And then he gave a sigh He said, you know, I almost made it But that was before your time Dixieland, Hope Oak Blues Scatman Jack Slapped his knee and gave a grin It sure was good back then Reaching for his home on the floor Placed it in an old tote sack That hung across his back He said goodbye and shuffled out the door Enthused by what it told me I never got his name So I called the waitress over And started to explain A tired old man His tongue is torn Memories of years gone by How he played his home Reminisced Smiled with tears in his eyes She said you are mistaken There's been no one but you But I know who you're talking about I used to know him too Find him down on Mason Street In the back of an old churchyard A stone that reads Rest in peace I tried but it sure was hard Slapped his knee and gained a grin It sure was good back then Reaching for his home On the floor Placed it in an old tote sack That hung across his back He said goodbye and shuffled out the door He said goodbye and shuffled out the door Yankee and Brittany, RTM Radio Network. We're gone, man. That's it. So Done. It's gone. Done. We're gone. Benito, out the fucking door. <laughs> What's these? What is that? Ah, What's that? That's to keep it dry in there. Oh, okay. It sucks up the moisture so the pills don't get all wet and yucky. We're done, man. Got to go. Love you guys. Gazillions, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't you forget, tomorrow night, the breastest tomorrow night ever. we'll be here at 7 o'clock. Coming in at 8 o'clock is UTA Live, United Truckers of America. Come check them out. Let's see what they got to offer. We have no clue what's going to happen. We don't know what they have planned. And those um, guys are mad as a box of You know, frogs. if uh, things don't work out, we'll give them the boot. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Horrible you are. We'll see. How, hey, I'm just honest. I love my job. All right. You guys take care. Be all be good to yourselves and your neighbors and all that cool shit out of there. And uh, say goodnight, Donna. Night, Donna. Say it again. Night.
Night, Donna. Donna has a Yankee. Brandy has a Brit. The Yankee was loud. He didn't care how. The Brit. The Yankee. The Yankee yes. and the Brit. Ha 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 